Are wines in cans or PET plastic drinkable? I have tasted a few in the past, but I somehow haven't been too interested in drinking them. Surely wine deserves the respect and elegance of a bottle. I felt this way until yesterday when I realized that I was being unfair. So I decided to buy a decent number of them to share with my wine father, Peter. Good things should be shared, right? <laughs> Not that Peter is biased, but just to be sure, I will pour the wines blind for him and not let him see the packaging. Am I sneaky or what? So I bought the 17 canned and pet wines from Walmart, Target and Total Wine and More. Total Wine and More had the widest choice and Target had a whole section dedicated to pet wines, many in large format. So now to surprise Peter with uh, these uh, 17 canned and pet wines. Peter, you don't know what they are? What they look like? Of course you see the color. I can see what they are. <laughs> I mean, That's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. You haven't seen even the shape of the bottles. That's true. Yeah. Yes. So, but I've seen the shape of these things here. <laughs> <laughs> That's dumb fucking. Why, why did you buy these mini chamber pots? It's to... Do you know what a chamber pot is? Chamber pot? Yeah. No? A chamber pot is a pot like you would find in an old European pension to be used in the middle of the night in case of emergency. Ah. So I'm not sure why they're on our table, but <laughs> <laughs> since you have replaced the plastic spittoons with them, uh -huh. I'm presuming you mean me to spit into that. Actually, it's very, very <laughs> nice. It's got my name on it, even. Look how I am sophisticated. No, no, it's a very, very professional. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Except that I didn't <laughs> put my microphone no on No problem. It. No one cares what you have to say. <laughs> it's not true, Peter. <laughs> so. What do you want me to do? Or is that also a secret? <laughs> now I explain it, it to you. Okay. Yeah. So I prepared. 17 wines and then we are going to taste the 17 wines now really yeah really so we are going to do it in uh, four flights is that all right i didn't check your arithmetic <laughs> it depends if the one is if the wine quality is great uh -huh. then it's not enough and if the wine quality is bad then it's way too much I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Why, why are we doing this? That's uh, still a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll explain uh, it to you why we do this. You uh, see this gray hair? Yeah. One it, would think that after a certain amount of time on this earth, a man would have his destiny in his own hands. <laughs> Just late. goes to show. <laughs> Too late. Too late. <laughs> You can taste at any order, okay. but I try to put uh, them in some kind of order. No, you screwed up. <laughs> so if you're not going to give me a theme or mm -hmm. anything like that, then typically what I do is I will taste from the palest. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the first the two wines are uh, sparkling, sparkling wines. wines. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, still wines. Okay, all right. Well, then I'll do that. After 17 wines, then we talk. Mm-hmm. So you're going to keep quiet now? No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> For talking, we do flight by flight. Flight by flight, yeah. okay. I show you the wines when we finished all the 17. All 17, okay. Sounds clear as mud. <laughs> clear as mud. Okay. Just that there is one thing uh, that I can tell you. Really? They are not super expensive wines. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that 17 super expensive wines, probably not. I tell you one more thing. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a feeling about this surprise. <laughs> they are not even expensive wines. <laughs> no. You said they were not super expensive. Oh. I understood what you mean. <laughs> okay. So this is absolutely the most difficult kind of tasting. Yeah. It's completely blind, without any theme, mm -hmm. and cheap wines. Cheap wines don't display terroir, and they don't display 
strong varietal character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are very it's, much uh, diluted. Right? Yeah, so it's, it's <laughs> this ain't easy. So the first one, obviously mm -hmm. it's sparkling wine. Mm -hmm. I thought I detected hints of peaches on here. Mm -hmm. You know, so sparkling wine with a hint of peach juice or something like that. Mm -hmm. so, I smell definitely a no, lot of peach no. here. It, it's a beautiful pink. Mm -hmm. um, That's true. It's actually quite nice. It's very, very well done, but it's got things blended into it to be like sort of unwind. People would like to drink that. It's quite pleasant, especially in summertime. Yeah. With a nice friend. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what that means, but... Number two. I liked it in mm -hmm. this flight. I liked it a lot. These two wines are good. Mm -hmm. They are good. They, mm -hmm. They're more than drinkable. None of the still wines was as good as either of the sparkling wines. And which one is the best for uh, this flight? The first one. The first one. And the third one? It's dry, astringent, it's short. It's very short. Yeah, very yeah. short on the finish. New World Pinot Grigio is what I wrote. This one is Pinot Grigio. That's what I said. One of Pinot Grigio's characteristics at this price point is that it's bland. <laughs> Thanks for a nice and kind explanation, Peter. There you go. <laughs> you need to subscribe to our channel. Look how much you learn. <laughs> Number four. It's got good acid. Very, very bland. Haven't spoiled it with wood, but there was nothing really there to spoil in the first place. <laughs> Which means that there is almost nothing there, right? That's very, very bland. <laughs> Not bad. Mm -hmm. There is some body. Yeah. yeah? There's, that body comes from alcohol. There's a, a viscousness there, viscosity, mm -hmm. so a weightiness. You said they're very cheap, mm -hmm. so for very cheap and not bad. Mm -hmm. I thought this was another Pinot Grigio. Mm -hmm. Cheap and poor. <laughs> Clear and clean explanation. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very dull dull wine. Mm. It's heavy and it's ponderous and it's without any charm at all. I don't know what it is, but I don't want to drink it. Okay. You going to unveil them now? No. Oh, no. No. <laughs> okay. You see, in France or Germany or Spain, with the, with the chamber pot, you just emptied it out the window. That's the reason why they developed the high heels, right? <laughs> <laughs> but then why are the toes so low? <laughs> you can just pour the wines. Bring the wines out and pour them. I won't look, so I won't see the shape of the bottle. No. That was a pretty dreary flight. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I'm sorry about that. Whew. Don't get angry at me. I, I didn't make the wine. <laughs> but you bought it. Mm. For the most part, you get what you pay for. The sixth one? You know, I couldn't think of anything else besides Sauvignon Blanc, but a very poor wine. Some concocted characteristics, very short, somewhat hot, stringent. You're right about it. Oh, okay. it's Sauvignon Blanc. Whew. It has got some acidity. But the, the kind of acidity that catches you in the throat. There is just a little bit of body and that's all. Yeah, that's it. And that body comes from alcohol. Very bad wine. Uh, really not good wine. Why would I want to drink that? Because I bought it for you. No, oh, <laughs> this is the kind of wine, it's like, you could knock this back at the bar if you're talking to a beautiful woman because you're not thinking. <laughs> you say, oh, you know, not thinking, you're thinking about this beautiful woman, that's a possibility. So th this is the kind of wine that the wine itself may not be expensive, but the woman that will make that wine palatable will be. <laughs> <laughs> can I put this part in the video? <laughs> you <Yeah>. can. <laughs> Eighth one. Looks Eighth. like piss. <laughs> it's like piss. Uh, some oak on this one. Well, oak. Wood mm. essences. One dimensional Chardonnay, but mm -hmm. Who cares? <laughs> the ninth one? There was some chalkiness here. All sorts of weird things in, in the wine. They were trying to make Chardonnay. It's got a lot of malolactic character. Yeah. It's astringent. It's very, very short. 
It's even worse than the previous one. Okay, let's go to the third flight. Yeah. Let's make this flight five wines <laughs> so that the last flight is only two. Something to look forward to. <laughs> no, Peter, no. <laughs> <laughs> it won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're supposed to be caring about your partner. <laughs> I'm caring about you. You drink quite some water today. This is the best drink I've had today. <laughs> but the first, first wine was not bad. It's true. The others I forbid you to drink. Those are strictly for pouring away or using for a marinade or converting to low-class vinegar. Even for vinegar, do you think it's low-class? Depends on the quality of the bread that you put in there to start the conversion to vinegar. If you use good quality bread, you might be able to get away with shit quality wine. <laughs> Even what's left in the empty glasses spoils the water. <laughs> it's not fair to do this to me. I'm a wine guy. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the, the flight of three. Yep. We taste the rosé. And what do you think about the uh, colors? I'm refusing to think about the colors. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't want to think about them. <laughs> Why not? Please, uh, think a little bit about the colors. They're beautiful. Yeah. That's all? <laughs> it's very hard to maintain these kind of characteristics in the wine because with um, rosé, you want people to see how beautiful they are. Mm -hmm. So they bottle these rosés in, for the most part, 99% of the time, even expensive ones, they bottle them in clear glass. Mm -hmm. So the color is deteriorating rapidly from mm -hmm. the beginning. It's very, very hard to capture that kind of color in the, in the glass mm -hmm. and keep it there for any length of time. Nice one. Nice way? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I quite like that. Me too. It's balanced, it's round, it's well made. Nice. I like it too. So what do you think about the rosés? They vary. This one is, I think, the worst of the 11, 10, 13 wines we've mm -hmm. had so far. Mm -hmm. It's really, really poor wine. But the nose is stewed. Mm -hmm. It's very astringent. Uh -huh. I don't even ask the question who would drink such a thing. I even ask the question who would make such a thing. <laughs> it really does not deserve the kind of time we have spent talking about it. It's very bland, but at the same time, very, very bitter. Yeah, right? yeah. I think that this is the worst wine in my life. Oh, I don't know about the worst wine in my life, but for sure it's the worst wine in a bunch of very bad wines. <laughs> the second one is a little bit better. Uh -huh. Quite a lot better, in fact. Mm -hmm. Some strawberries, very right. floral. I like this one, the last one, the best. Mm -hmm. It had that very delicate pale pink color. It's very much like um, zest, citrus zest. Mm -hmm. the, the character, citrus rind. And I smell also the condition of wine just right after the fermentation. So that's the characteristic right after fermentation is usually still slightly yeasty there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Round, balanced, got some weight. I thought it was nice. Yeah, I love it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay, only four oh. left. Thank God. I'm gonna have to call Valerie and tell her to. <laughs> Whenever we have a meeting, you have to call Valerie, right? Tell her, you put, put something <laughs> in the fridge or put something because I can't do this anymore. <laughs> yes, you can. Peter. No shortage. no shortage of tannin here. No shortage of uh, tannin. Number 14. So overall, the flight was not too bad. Mm -hmm. Quite nicely done. The next one was slightly better. A commitment to making Honest wine, mm -hmm. Bordeaux varieties, maybe a hint of common here, there. The third one was, again, not bad, a little bit short, putting in the wood however they did it. Acceptable wine. Mm -hmm. And then the last one, I thought wasn't bad. I thought I picked up hints of Pinot Noir. I liked it. I mean, overall, actually, it got my top score. And uh, which one is your favorite? How about you? I liked uh, number one uh, very much. It was easy to drink. Uh -huh. It was very easy to drink. And do you have any idea why I prepared these four flights? Other than to be really nasty? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, I will show you. Okay. <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's your bag or mine? This is your bag. With 17 wine in it? Yeah. We have a 17 wine in it. Can you guess what they are? 17 wine in it. No. Yeah. 17 bottles of wine in it. In there. It's impossible, isn't it's it? It's impossible. Uh -huh. And uh, there was uh, certainly a reason why I didn't want to show any shape of wine. Okay. Because they are... Ta-da! Canned wines and packed wines. So I prepared especially these things for you. You're so kind. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very humbling experience because I'm a wine guy, right? Uh-huh. I have great experience with some of the best wines in the world. Uh -huh. And not all that much experience with wines from tins. Exactly. That's what, exactly what I thought. And, based on the experience we've just had, not likely to get a whole lot more experience. <laughs> <laughs> the theme is not that, Peter. <laughs> I'm in favor of wine consumption mm -hmm. and of making it as easy as possible, mm -hmm. I can just tell you that there is no reason that any of these containers should have bad wine other than a choice by the people that canned it or bottled it. So now you know why I put these wines. No. <laughs> <laughs> because you can find a lot of canned wines and pet wines these days. So people think many people think that they should really consume the wines from bottle and I just uh, wanted to show how the quality you is. wanted to show them they were right <laughs> <laughs> no there's nothing inherently wrong and there wasn't a single flawed wine here mm -hmm. you're sitting on the beach and you want to be left alone you can do this yeah yeah so Peter yeah would you select top three among these okay so I think you, you don't need to pin down your microphone on your shirt, I think. What? <laughs> because you have a, so much hair, you could pin down <laughs> Just on your it. hair. <laughs> <laughs> Very rude. Okay. You want the top three or not? I want the top three. <laughs> okay, top three. Number one, and then a tie between number two and number 17. Number two, so this is white sparkling. Yeah. French inspired, mm -hmm. Ameri oh, yeah. American made. Right, right, American. Number yeah. 17, which is the last one. Okay. Pinot Noir. The Pinot Noir. Okay. Underwood. Oh, yeah. So okay. two sparkling wines and one uh, Pinot Noir. Okay. So these three are the winners. Let's have a look at them. Yeah. The first one, the original yeah. house wine, yeah. the rosé bubbles. Right. And the second one, it's white sparkling wine, Jacqueline Leon. The third one, Oregon Pinot Noir, on the root. Winners. <laughs> Winners. I want to say that flight number three, the third wine, was very decent. Rosé wine from Wine Corporation. Those were the best. So for the rosé, the third one is the best, right? Yeah. Essentially geared Wine Corporation rosé wine. And it says corkscrew? Screw corks. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Cans don't break. Try it. There's an interesting approach to, to the whole thing here that's trying to take the the snobbishness uh -huh. out of wine. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, I love this wine. And do you have any recommendation uh, from the still white wines here? They were terrible. <laughs> so we would recommend these two sparkling wines. Yeah, yeah. And then skip to rosé wine. Yeah. And then Pinot Noir. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, I put away the steel whites, yeah. all uh, seven of them, and then I put only two sparkling wines and uh, three rosé and uh, four red wines. I think uh, they are not bad. 
It's not that this kind of packaging is not good for higher level of quality. It's just that the perception of the producers is that the people that would buy wine packaged like this don't really know a lot and don't want to pay it a lot. It's less snotty mm -hmm. than a bottle. When I talk to my kids, they tell me, no, the wine tastes pretty good, but it's so snotty, you know, so. In the case, drink some uh, canned wines and pet wines. Okay, that's it, Peter. All right. So I put all the cans and pets in your bag. No, I think not. <laughs> 이럴 땐이 와인 네이버 밴드로 놀러 오시면 와인을 잘 몰라도 편하고 싸게 사실 수 있도록 제가 많이 도와드립니다. 다들 만족하시고 좋아하시더라고요. 가입하는 게 싫으시면 와인킹.co.kr로 놀러 오세요.